Share the video on your page real quick. Let's get more people connected. How you guys doing? The banker, send me another message. Let's check it out one more time. Yeah. I can see a lot of my fans out there. Came here here like they are. You doing? God bless you. Thank you very much for connecting. And on a day, God bless you. Jean Coley Grace, how are you doing? God bless you. All right, as you guys are coming in, go ahead, share the video on your page. Let's get more people connected. Let's get to the bottom of this one this evening. 541 here in New York City. Jeez. All right, quickly, let's just get to it real quick. Let's get to it real quick without wasting time. Uh, good evening, good afternoon, good whatever. Good morning, wherever it is that you're connecting from. My name is Shola Jordan Adiri. And for your information, I'm actually now on Instagram. I'm on Instagram right now. And I'm doing great work on Instagram also. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, feel free to look for me, Dr. Shola Adiri. Uh Dr. Shola Adiri. When you go on Instagram, you're going to be able to see me there and then you follow me by the grace of God. So we are on YouTube also, you know, kicking it on YouTube, uh, making sure everything is going on the way it should go uh, by the grace of God. All right. Uh, <clears throat> now, um, there is one thing I want to really uh, just say uh, at this point in time. Uh, it's very good for every one of us to always listen to instruction. Listen to instruction. And if you listen to instruction, you will always benefit from it. All right? When people are talking, uh, majority of the people believe that you're talking nonsense. Everybody always have their own kind of mind. Your mind is not good enough. That is why the English people say two heads are better than one. Two heads, two, two good heads are better than one. Okay, so and in Yoruba land also, they believe that Ogmo Logmo Leofin Shogmo, it means that you listen to somebody's wisdom to add to your own. So don't always be rigid. And uh, this is how I want to do it. This is how I'm going to do it. Some people pass through it before they go to a point where they do not like it, and and, and now you are doing the same thing, and they're seeing it, and you will get to the same thing, the same position. And you will regret it. All right? You cannot do the same thing over and over expecting a different result. The moment you're applying the same principle, you will always get the same result. If you plant maize in Nigeria, you water it, you bring it to America, plant it here, it will work the same way. All right? So principles work the same way regardless of the location. It will still work the same way. All right, so the Yoruba people say, "Eh, nito bangge gito mangge kere bangge gini bo agbalo mobi toma awosi." When a little boy is cutting a wood or cutting a tree in the forest, it is the elderly that will know where the tree is gonna fall. 
People ask me why. Because that elderly guy has done the same thing before. And the tree fell on him. So he now is a wise man now. Whenever he sees a small boy cutting the wood, he will tell the small boy, this is the way the wood is going to fall. It is experience of life that makes people wise. People become wise because they have experienced something. So an experienced man is a wise man. That's why I always say to people, if you refuse to go through, you will never break through. If you refuse to go through, you will never break through. When you actually aim to go through and you get up your feet and you kick it and you go through, then you break through. All right. If you have not tried it, you can never achieve it. You have to try it to achieve it. All right. So don't just be assuming in your head, I can do it. Don't be assuming in your head, it's not doable. Until you try it, then you now see if it's able to be done or not. You have not failed until you take the exam. You have not failed until you get married. You have not failed until you start the business. You have not failed until you give it a try. Give it a try, you will know why you failed, what made you to fail, and when you now try it again, you will succeed because now you have done it several times, learning what to do, not to start a business, knowing how not to start a business. Now you know how to start a business. So it is very important for us to try things so that we will understand. But sometimes when you are now looking for an express way to get to your destination, you listen to the people that have tried it before. Those ones will give you an idea of what will happen if you do it like this, if you do it like that, or if you do it this way. Because they've gone through it. Now they are wise and they are now saving you time. They will save you time not to waste your own time, not to waste your own money. You will now step on that stone that they are giving to you. They will now become a support. They will become a stepping stone for you because they have gone through it. They must have wasted 10 years of their own life trying to experience it. They must have wasted their own money experimenting the, the stuff. Now they are knowledgeable. So when they talk to you, take it to the bank because they have been there. They've done it. And they have experienced it. It will save you money. It will save you energy. It will save you time by riding on their own wave. All right? Even though capacity and ability and exposure, level of education is different. All right? But it's still going to give you an idea of what to expect and what to do. Your own education may be able to help you to achieve it. Your own level of exposure may be actually may be a helpful thing in your life. Your mindset may help you as well. And all of this stuff can actually make you to have a kind of an upper hand when it comes to whatever you want to do. But always remember, an experienced man is a wise man. When they are talking to you, listen. Listen. Men, Nigerian men, listen. Nigerian women, listen. African men, listen. African women, listen. All right? Listen. It is important for us to listen. So we will not lose eventually. Now, I've been teaching for a long time now about people having many children. Many children will ruin you. You know, I'm not saying children are not the gift of God. It's written in the Bible. All right? So also, all things are gift from God. You don't understand. India M is a gift from God. He go, he go. He's a gift from God. If God doesn't want us to, to, to smoke it or to eat it, he won't create it. But we have to understand how not to abuse ego, not to abuse alcohol, not to abuse all of this stuff. So when you have too many children, you're abusive. You're abusing children. If you cannot take care of two kids, why have three? If you cannot take care of four, why do you want to have six? If your ability and capacity is not able to withstand two kids, why are you having four? Now, 
it is not easy to take care of children. Like you know, like I know. Especially here in America, the moment you're having children, you love to have sex, and you're having unprotected sex, and you're getting pregnant, and you're saying, ah, yeah, it's a gift from God. No, it's not a gift from God. You are pulling the children. You are the one pulling the children. The children are in heaven. You are the one banging your wife and pulling those kids out. Pulling those kids out. All right? So, if you go and buy India M, and they say this India M is for pain, and you smoke it whenever you're having pain, nothing is going to happen to you. You won't be addicted to the India M. But when you are smoking it like every 30 minutes, something is wrong, go, you smoke it. Something is wrong, wrong go, you smoke it. Whatever it is that happens, you smoke it. You will abuse it, and then you become addicted, and people will now say, the India M is not good. God created it. All right? God created it. Cocaine. Cocaine. They extracted it and they put it inside of many of these medicine that they give us in the hospital. Procaine penicillin. It's got cocaine inside. If you don't know, it's actually a, a kind of a measure of cocaine inside it. All right? And then you have to take it with your brain. Codeine. There is, there is a drug inside of codeine. People go and buy codeine because they are sick. Some people buy codeine because they want to be high. They take seven. They take 16 of the codeine to make them to be high. You don't understand. When you go to the store and go and buy cough medicine, cough medicine, when you drink a whole bottle one time, you feel high. Some people don't take cough medicine for, for them to, to, to because of cough. They take cough medicine they want to feel high. Alright? Everything you see is created by God for our benefit. India M was is created by God. Don't abuse it. If the doctor says smoke it or whatever you do to it when you're having pain, use it at that time and then you'll be fine. When you smoke, smoke, smoke it in the time, smoke it in the morning, smoke it at night, smoke it, you'll become addicted. So you are not supposed to do that. Procaine penicillin has got cocaine inside. They put, uh, they, they, there is a measure of cocaine they put inside. So you have to be very, very, very wise not to be able to abuse this thing. Codeine, uh, whatever. You know, people go and take like several, several tablets of codeine to be high. They abuse it. Likewise, children. They abuse it. You see, you have to measure your pocket. Look how much you have in your bank account. Look how much you are making before you start having sex. If you know that the sex you are having is just to have children, be very careful how many you want to pop out. Okay? You're popping out six kids and you got no money. You're popping out six kids and you're not thinking one day your husband may run away. You're popping out seven kids. You don't even understand what is going to happen to you because your career may not be able to go on. You may be stuck in the house, and it's going to be you, not your husband. You okay? So many things you may not be able to achieve. Don't compare yourself with people in Nigeria. They can, they have prophet, prophetic children. The Nigerians have prophetic children. They will say, hey, the prophet said he saw seven children, oh, and they have to give back to seven children. They go to a place, they say, ah, I see babies flying around, catch your own. And then you catch it. When after you caught the stuff, you went home and tell your husband, hey, we have to have one kiddo. Some Nigerian men will say, I'm looking for a male child. A male child, a male child, they have 15 kids. They are all girls. And they are still going all around, still looking for that male child. That's Nigeria for you. They don't think. They are popping children all around the place. At the end of the day, the kids are going to become, they are going to become armed robbers on the street. Because nobody can take care of them. Alright? They didn't go to school. They didn't, they didn't get the right education. You can't take care of two kids. You can't even finish taking care of one kid in your life. I'm not kidding. All right. Now imagine you have six kids and they gotta go to college. You know how much you're gonna be paying sending six children to college? All right. You know how much? It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Okay. You will not have a life. You'll be jumping around. And thank you, Daddy Bami Jago. God bless you, sir. Thank you for joining today. You 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 will run into you will run into basic. You will run into high blood pressure. You will run into depression. Over children, and then one funny thing I want to tell you. 
those kids, you live the kids, you live, you live their lives. You were running from one pillar to pole, trying to bless them, trying to make them feel happy, trying to go to the right places and do whatever. When they become 18, they rock out of the house like as if to say they just don't care. You will be the one to suffer it. You and your husband, you ruin the relationship between you and your husband when the kids were still all around jumping away. Mommy, 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 mommy. So you are building your life for mommy, mommy, mommy. Now you abandon your husband. And now the kids are, pff, every one of them are gone. And when they are going, they don't want to stay around the house. They don't stay in the corridor of the house at all. They want to go far away from you. If you don't want to move in here. They want to stay far away from you. Then they take up, they go, they leave. Oh, they leave. And that's it. All right. Now, the issue about today is this. I want us to help one woman. Even though she, she, she's got this kid already. All right. I pity the woman. For real. We can't blame her anymore. We, 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 she was not there when she was been having children before we started doing broadcast. She didn't get to know too many kids who actually mess somebody's life up. And then it's more or less like you are being tied down. You cannot pursue anything in your life. This woman has got six children. Six children and she is not feeling too good. She needs to go to the hospital to actually undergo a minor surgery. And she needs to keep those kids somewhere, you know, in a daycare for one day. Just for one day. Actually, I'm thinking it's not going to be good for one day. I think she should actually keep them for three days so that she can have enough time to rest. There is nobody that can take those kids from her. Nobody wants to help her. Her husband is nowhere to be found. I'm telling you, nowhere to be found. It's so difficult for her to do whatever it is that she want to do. And this woman reached out to me. I pity her big time. And I made up my mind. I, I just came to you guys some few months, two few weeks ago. We raised money for the family that was in Nigeria who got deported. Thank God for that money. Facebook just released this some few weeks, I mean, some few days ago. We just made a deposit into their bank account by the grace of God. They live in the house that was given to us in Lagos. One other woman gave us a house in Ibadan. We didn't even go there. Because God has already bought out their bread. We got a house for them in Lagos. And now we actually made a deposit into their bank account. By the grace of God, God has blessed them. So I really don't want to come out. But you see, there, there's no way we want. It's about health. It's about somebody's health. The person is having minor surgery. Nowhere to keep the six kids. Talofe eko six kids. One man tear in here down. They will tear your house down. You can't even go to sleep with six kids. I'm not talking about six grown up kids. So I'm talking about six little kids. They will tear your whole house down. So nobody's expect. Nobody wants to help. So that's why I'm coming back to you guys to help you. To call upon you. We need only $300. I don't want to go through Facebook this time. I want you guys, if you have anything you want to give to this woman, feel free to inbox me or send me a WhatsApp message. 405-550-5135 that you're willing to do one help or the other. I'm thinking we should do three weeks, three days for her. One day in daycare is $300 for the kids. I'm thinking, can we just do three days so she'll be able to rest? Take the kids to the place one day, go and do your surgery. Take them second day, you'll be able to relax and heal up. Take them the third day and be able to enjoy your life one time before they come back. You know? And that's what I'm thinking. I don't have that kind of money. Alright? Pastor July, I just get mouth on, on social media. I didn't mean I have that kind of money. I could have given up. Understand? But the usual is this. If you are interested, if God is leading you to give her anything to support this particular woman, she need to go she need to go and do that surgery. All right? She need to go and do the surgery. And if you live anywhere in New Jersey and you feel like the kids can come to you, we can actually connect you and you can do babysitting for that day and she can know and you go. If you are willing, connect with me too. But if you have any money to give, inbox me. I will send you the account 
and then you can put it there. It took too long during the Facebook fundraising for us to get the money. They were, they were telling us, oh, we have to do investigation. Facebook did investigation for almost about one, one year for us to be able to get the money out. So if you are there, you're willing to help. All right, please inbox me or send me a WhatsApp message 405-550-5135. Pastor, please make sure anyone offering babysitting is check who I don't trust people these days. I mean, now, I believe, I don't think we should do babysitting. I myself don't want us to do babysitting. Let us go and do babys babysitter that is registered. Uh, babysitter that is registered. That's where they should take those kids to. So if you are willing to help, feel free, feel free. I don't like all this we are in New Jersey, we are in whatever. Please inbox me if you know you are willing. We don't want to put this thing out there on social media. We don't just want to put it out. You inbox me, let me know if that's the stuff. And I don't think we need people to babysit now. Now We need the money. She knows where to take her kids to. If you want to help us, just help us. If you're willing to help us, just help us. All we're looking for for one day is $300 for one day for six kids. Okay? $300 for one day for six children. So if you have that money, you want to give us anything, $20, $10, whatever amount that you want to give to support this particular woman just to go and have that surgery and be able to be healed, feel free to connect with us. But why am I doing this video? Is for you. You started having children now. What you be my thanks you? You are number three. Oh yes, oh yes, it's a pam pam pam. You are addicted to having children. I'm addicted to having children. I'm addicted to having children. My wife addicted. Any help me? I go my wife addicted. Be addicted. Okay. Be addicted to to having baby. Any help me? Damn damn. Oh, look, but Lori. One day your husband will run away. You won't be coming back. One day the man may die. If the man should die, Lord Jesus, what are you going to do? What, are, what exactly are you going to do? Pay your money? You want to sell them? Are you selling children? Do you want to sell children? Do you want to sell children? You know, that's the stuff. So you need to be very careful. Oh, 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 you are addicted to having pregnancy. You are addicted to pregnancy. My bill. Come on, 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 Come on, Come on, Get your mark, get your Yeah, that, 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 I, I think, I think it's a, I'm not sure when she want to go. I will do the investigation of when she want to go. But I, but we can actually make the money available anytime between now and Friday. Uh, or probably between now and Saturday. And see how we can help her out. Okay? So, so, get your mark, Come, 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 the husband can die anytime. The man may run away anytime. It's going to be you. You alone and the kids. Are you going to be able to cope? Are you going to be able to take care of it? No wonder a lot of women will turn to be prostitutes after the husband is gone. You have too many kids to take care of. Oh, oh too many kids. So, so, so many, it's a gift from God. It's a gift from How about if I mistakenly get pregnant? Why will you, be, why will you mistakenly get pregnant? What, what, what are they doing with condom? What are they doing with, 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 with family planning materials? Why don't you go to the hospital and let them tie your womb where you know that you are not supposed to be pregnant? Why don't you do that? If you are your husband, you are very addicted to having sex, you always remember the end point of sex is going to be pregnancy. Come on, you be having children. Come on, come on, you be a football star. You have a football team. What do you have a football team? I love children. I love children. If you love children, can't you go and go to school and be doing teacher? Go and be teacher. You will see children in the school. If you know you love children, go and open the daycare. I'm seeing like 15 children every day. Which one? I love children. Pastor, see I love children. Go and do daycare. You have a question. Go ahead and ask me, my, my sister. Olubu Zodia. Ask me the question. I, I'm, I'm waiting for that question. You, 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 you can't go and be, go, become a teacher. And you see children all over the place. I'm having children there. I, I see children. Have the number of children you can take care of. Okay? Have the number of children you can take care of. 
What we have here? If you people, if you people, you are even Donald Trump. If you are Donald Trump with all the money he's got, you'll be having 200 children. If you are Obama, if you are Obama with the money he's got, you'll be having 200 children. Okay? That's how you're going to be having. And Donald Trump won't even be having all these children, even though that he cannot even marry one wife. He cannot stay with one wife. That's the problem with his own life. Okay? Obama that has one wife. Clinton that has one wife. He's only one child. With all their money, only one kid. Only one kid. You'll be saying, he is a gift of God. He's a rich gift of God. Where is the question of, if you love children, please go and babysit. <laughs> you love children, go and do a babysitter. You love children. Where is this woman that wants to ask me questions? I got to go, I got to go, I got to go. So I'm going to be expecting people who are... Um, I'm going to be expecting those who uh, uh, would love to help this lady... Uh, children are uh, heritage. I have to because I have my first baby after 10 years old. <laughs> Where did these white people put uh, our Ibioma they collect after they give back? But I am not a doctor. I am not a doctor. I, I, I'm not a doctor. I don't know where they put it. But um, sometimes they told us that they keep them uh, because they are actually source of... Uh, uh, I, I'm not sure. They use they use the placenta to cure it, disease and all kinds of stuff. So they they, they, they they keep those placentas. Uh, somebody told me that. I'm not sure what they do with, with them. Probably they burn them off or maybe they sell them or maybe they actually keep them. But they, they, somebody said to me and I read a part in, on, on, the, on the, or online that placentas are very, very good. Uh, in case anything happened to no, anybody, they can easily go back to your placenta and they can actually extract just a part of it to actually heal that person. Uh, I'm not sure, probably they keep it. I'm not sure what they do, but in Nigeria, I know we bury placenta. We dig the ground, we bury placenta. Some people will go and dig the ground and they will steal the placenta to go and do juju. You know? Yeah, all right. So, now somebody just said it is used for stem cell. All right? I don't know what they do with them. I'm not sure. I'm not a nurse. I'm not a doctor. All right? So, uh, probably the doctors in the house will answer the questions and let us know what the Uyibo people do with it. And uh, another thing I want to tell you, let me tell you guys this. All of you guys that you think, uh, you're going to come here, uh, you're going to you're gonna come to America, you're going to have baby here, yeah, and your baby will become American. Donald Trump said no. Koselemo. If you come here, you have a baby in America, the baby is still a Nigerian. Okay? If you go to Nigeria, an American citizen, you go and impregnate one person in Nigeria. That baby is a Nigerian. He's not American. Donald Trump is changing things all around, so you better be careful. You get it pregnant, get it pregnant in Nigeria. Bringing the pregnancy here to come and have a baby and thinking it's going to become American citizen. Yeah, I don't know. Where, where is it written in the Bible that we should give back to children you, you can take care? No, you can, you can have any children you don't. You, have all the children you want to have. Be asking me, where is it written in the Bible? You see, that's the mentality of Nigerians. Show me in the Bible. Show, we, do, like, we don't have common sense. Nigerians don't have common sense. I've been preaching this thing for, I don't know how many years I've been preaching it. The Bible is a storybook, okay? Instruction written for other people. These are instructions written for other people. What is God telling you today? Do you have a relationship with God? What is he saying to you today? You need to hear God. He said to me, show me from the Bible. Show me from the Bible what? What is God telling you? What is the new instruction God is giving unto you? Bible said, and God said to Abraham, you are not Abraham. And God said to Moses, you are not Moses. And God said to the people of Nineveh, are you a, Nine are you a citizen of Nineveh? You are not. What is he saying to the people of Nigeria? What is God saying to the people from Ghana? What is he saying to Americans? That's what you're supposed to go and be asking questions. What exactly is God saying to those people? We don't hear God anymore. We don't want to hear God anymore. All we want to do is go to the Bible. What is, what is the Bible saying? What did he say? What did he say? Are you Joseph? Are, are, you, are you Abraham? Uh, is your name Abraham? Is your name Joseph? Whatever God is saying to them, he's saying it to them. Not to you. You need to go and ask. You have to have a relationship with God and let him speak directly to you. What is he saying to you? What exactly is he saying? I remember a family was saying, uh, they, they came to tell my mom, they said, when we, before we got married, God said to us that we have to have seven children. My, my mother said, which God, which God said that to you? Where did you hear God? He said it was the holy that prayed for us that you have to have seven children. Inside this poverty, you, you are a teacher. Your wife is a teacher. You guys don't have money. 
Now you already already have four. And you didn't want to stop. You want to have seven. Inside this poverty. Inside of this poverty, you still want to have seven. You see, that's what I say. The engineers always have children by prophecy. When they give them prophecy, they start having children. Omo bere usi bere. Omo bere usi bere. I don't understand you Nigerians. I'm telling you, you Africans, are, you, you make me sick. You guys make me sick. You can't use common sense. Nigerians, Nigerians and common sense, they are, no, they are not related. Nigerians and common sense are not related at all. They are two different people. They are two different people. Two different people. That's the way they are. I don't understand people. Well, for real, I don't. I don't get it. I understand, right? So this, this, this always baffles me. Can't, can't we just use our common sense? Can't we use common sense? Instead of we just doing all this nonsense all around the place. In the olden days, when they always have seven kids, eight kids, nine kids, it is because the kids were dying. There was no medical treatment at all. So they don't know. That's what they say. I don't know which one will live. That we, that we'll be able to wait. All this premature death was happening in those days. Kids were dying, no medicine, no hospital to take them to. So they have to have many. It's more like an insurance for the future. They don't know which one will die. They don't know which one is going to live. They don't know which one will die. That was why they were doing what they were doing in those days. Now we have medicine. Now we know how to take care of business. You know how to take care of sicknesses and all kinds of stuff. No wonder we are overpopulating everywhere. Nigeria is overpopulated. Everywhere is overpopulation. The food cannot go, go, go around anymore. That's why we have all this chemical food. Chemical food all over the place. All right? Because we have to feed people. We are, we're busy having children. And, and one funny thing I, I want to say to you guys is this. The rich people don't have a lot of kids. Oh. Rich people will have only two kids. And they give their wife their credit card. And they go shopping in Dubai, go shopping in Afghanistan, go shopping in Somalia. The wife is driving everywhere, shopping, shopping, shopping. She doesn't have time for having children. The wife will even tell the husband, no children for me. Only two is enough. It's only the poor man that don't have any money to offer the wife. The only thing he has is his banana. Oh, mama, bani, baga, baga. Lots of, go, 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 go. Lale, bow, bow. Everywhere. You're owned by your city corner. Oh, my, 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 oh, Oh well, eh, kule, oh lo yo kumanti, eh, kule. That's the only thing. Don't let it console any. Oh my God, ba 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 ba. Because it's what he's got nothing, nothing to offer the woman. Is all seven kid, eight kid. She will not say, oh, I'm a mumelo. Let me a mumelo. Baba, I di ba ye mi ja olo ni bu ba ba olo ni bu ru go ni kondo ranu. Baba, we le. I'm a mumelo. Send me, send me, send me. Send me, turn me off, baby. Go send me off, baby. Ah, ye mi di ba, ah ye di ba ye ni. Seven children. When they give you seven children, one of one be on 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 why do I have to have children? Why do I have to? That's common sense. That is common sense. <laughs> Global activity. Oh my God, the need banana. <laughs> you know what So a rich man's wife can shop anywhere in the world. Can go anywhere to shop. All right. So they, they go everywhere. They they, they they are fine. They have one kid. They are fine. They have two kids. They are fine. That's fine for them. He's only a poor man that be having seven children so that his wife will not run away. Will not run away. That's, that's his stuff. Oh, let me let you guys go and live your life, Jerry. Eh, 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 go, go live your life, Jerry. Go, go live your life. Uh, but just remember, if you're out there, you want to help my sister, you want to help my sister, feel free, free to inbox me. Let me know. And uh, then we go from there. Or maybe you... Um, you want to send me a WhatsApp message, uh, uh, send me a WhatsApp message also through plus one four zero five 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 zero five one three five plus one four zero five 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 zero five one three five. Uh, send that number. Uh, send send a message to that number, 
I will let you have the account where you're going to put that money. We're looking for three hundred dollars for one day. Uh, in case we are able to make more, we are able to realize more money, and let her just go rest for three days. It will be good. It will be great for her. Uh, I don't have that kind of money, um, but I believe that I have people, and the people will always come to my rescue uh, at any point in time. I really appreciate you guys for that. Uh, many hero are so stupid and wicked. With their one uh, corner, poro, poro after impregnating woman, <laughs> they jump to another. I know, you know, that's the stuff. So that's the telephone number, Olori Jesse. Thank you very much. Uh, that's the phone number to WhatsApp me. Uh, and then let's see how we can help this sister, please. Let's see how we can help her. Um, she needs to go through that surgery and get it done. Uh, it's not her fault. Things happen. That's happened already. She needs to go for surgery and get it done. And all this stuff happened during child bath. Uh, the womb has been overused uh, and all kinds of stuff. So she needs to go for that surgery. So please, please let us help her. And if you have any question for me also, you can feel free to send me inbox message for uh, with your questions and all that stuff. Uh, send them to me. Uh, and then for counseling sessions, feel free to call me. Uh, feel free to call me uh, and book a session with me. Husband and wife, husband alone, wife alone, uh, I will take you. Pastor, we need money for men too. Of course, he, he let the men come out. Let the men, let them come out. Let them come out. Uh, if you need help, let us know what you need. And let's see what we can do to help you uh, out as well. You know, as a man. You know, we, we all need help. Uh, we all need help. So, um... You know, so uh, we we need um, we need to support her. We need to help her. Uh, but the reason why I made this video is for uh, you guys to be careful. Uh, you just got married with a mindset, or probably because a prophet said to you that you have to have eight kids, and you yourself you are getting ready for eight children. Something's wrong with your head. Your 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 brain is not working correctly. All right, your brain is not working. Make sure you activate common sense and start asking questions. Why? Why do I need to have seven children? Kill a lot of seven children. See, why you alone? All right. You need to start asking questions. You want to have a life. You want to live. You just don't want to survive. To be able to live, you have to have number of kids that will allow you to have a life. Uh, to 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 care for one kid is not a joke. Go and ask the women. They know it. Uh, some of them are addicted to having babies anyway. Some of them in Nigeria, they love children. Mm. Uh, I love children. Oh. Go and work in daycare. Go, go, go and study uh, education. You go to school and be teaching children. You, you will see kids there. You will see children there. If you love kids, go there. Some people are addicted to pregnancy. Just being pregnant. They just want to be pregnant. Last year, you were pregnant. Two years ago, you were pregnant. This month, you are pregnant again. You will still be pregnant next week. The two weeks time, you will be pregnant again. You will just be pregnant, pregnant, pregnant. Like, you are know, silly are you? Are you a baby machine? A baby making machine alone? Is that the reason why we created, God created you? Just to be making babies all around the place? Making babies everywhere? You know, see, okay. What's wrong with you? So, so, so they have a number of children you can have and take care of them. Take care of them. Give them the best of the best education. When you have seven children and you have no money, you, you let the children be going to this school of bang, 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 bang school. Where they will call, they will be teaching them, ah, ja, di bata, di beje, di bebe, ah, ja, i eku, i kukuruku. That's where you will be teaching your children to. And the ones that have two children, they will send their own children to international school. And those one will be coming, they will come, they will be saying, hey for apple, hey for apple, be for boy, D for dog, and they have American accent. Your own children will have a accent. Ah, yeah, be bad, be do, you know, say, ah, it's the enemy, the enemy is affecting my life, the enemy over my children, and die by fire, you run in, all over here, and get me in school, look back on my oh, oh, I say, Bobby, I have a dog, oh, say, Bobby, but oh, 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 because of us, oh, oh, nonsense, don't say. Nonsense, don't say. Oh, yeah. oh, Baba, oh, oh, they took their children to a place where international school. They are speaking American language. You, you, you send your own children to Gwen Gwen because you have no money. Oh, 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 oh
I don't understand. You're making me laugh myself. Just imagine me myself laughing. Now, what kind of a stuff is this? Ah. <laughs> you don't know going to school. You know the going to school? When they have this big drop, they have, you know, when they do a, a, a assembly in the morning, they, they do assembly outside. It's the outside. They don't have a hall. They don't have a hall in their school. They do it outside on the field. And then one guy will carry the, the big drop. Say, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> When, when you go to international school, they have a hall. When all the children will be inside the hall, they will be playing. They have a keyboard, they have speaker, they have microphone. They say, like, your own children, they go to going going school. It's going, 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 going. There is, there is one school in front of my house in Baro. It's, it's going, going. Every morning we wake up like this, you'll be hearing going. Only I'm all over the dark. What if you going going for you? I'm all over. Then you know, they are in them singing. I'm in a little over. Book where God see, I go. Hey, hey, go. Master Jackie, yes, go so I get a look over. I'm only out of the pool. You know, but what if I buy it? Yes, good. Hey, yes, who is I'm going to get already? Get all lonely. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Hey, you should have a way you already get to And that's the result of our bear. When you have too many children, that's the way it's going to happen. That's the way it's going to happen. Too many kids. That look my international school. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. They will start singing that song. Hey, you should judge your reading. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Even me myself, I'm laughing. I'm laughing because this thing is very funny. All right. So, so, so that's the stuff. That's the stuff. All right? So, you know, let's just be careful. I have I, I the number of kids that you can take care of uh, and then uh, leave the rest for God. All right? God bless you, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Um, I'll see you guys later uh, in Jesus' name. God bless you. Mwah! Love you.
Let me get the title for these people. Let's take out the CD and get the title. The title is Elevation. Elevation by Femi Sola. So you can go over there, download it on uh, on iTunes, or probably go to CD Baby and download your own copy right there. 
uh, by the grace of God. And then on Facebook, you can follow Femi Shola over there also. Moment Junior Cardona, no, in Cardona, man, that guy is crazy. Anytime you see Yin Cardona, that guy is original. The guy, I know they sing anybody's song, go, that guy, they compose his own song by himself. All right? Whenever you listen to, you know, Yin Cardona, original songs, a batung bat, oh, crazy song, bani. Understand? Now, this is Femi Sola here. Femi Sola Elevation. This one on point. Now, the very first CD that he made before, that was when he came to America. He actually mentioned my name. They are okay, me no. I got popular. You know what I'm saying? Pastor Zola do popular. I want to bag on Kim. I even let the Kim Mimi Osawo. Femi Zola Kim Mimi Osawo. He ain't got no Nike Mimi Osawo. Understand? Oh, basically, Kim Mimi Osawo. Me on his Osawo. Me on his Osawo. Oh, yeah. Hey, come back, Puru, come in, Nani. But it's so good. Simple arithmetic, Nani. Understand? Hey, my party will pass on the last one. Oh, yeah. Hey, Miri. 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 Emi o ne gu lowo te gu ba lowo emi ga gba All right ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching this episode ah god bless you see you guys later